time to work on. Let's find a good video. Look at the muscles! I definitely want to look like this guy. That's my phone! Hello? Captain Flem. Yes, this is Agent Lowe. Are you sure? This isn't a drill. An international anti-vegan nonsense gang is taking over the internet, spreading lies, denying science, promoting flat earth. Oh, this just gets worse. Denying that cholesterol contributes to heart disease. I've heard enough. Challenge accepted. What do I need to do, Captain Flem? Right, right. Leave it with me. I can track down the leader of this gang. I was born ready. Agent Tilly, we've got a big problem. No, it is not a drill. It is real. We have got to go hunting. The anti-vegan nonsense gang. You need your superpowers. Vegan superpowers. My sources tell me that the anti-vegan nonsense headquarters is somewhere in these woods. We gotta hunt them down. We gotta stop them in their tracks. The evil, evil science deniers. Come on, Agent Tilly. We gotta look for clues. She's on the trail. Come on, Agent Tilly. Let's follow Agent Tilly. Have you got a clue, Agent Tilly? No false alarm. Off we go again. Agent Tilly, hot on the trail now. I sense we're getting warmer. My vegan senses suspects the lair is at the top of that hill. Come on, Agent Tilly, let's go. Come on, Agent Tilly. Let's see, is this the lair? I don't know. Agent Tilly's superpower collar is leading us here. What's this? Epidemiology is poo. What is this, Agent Tilly? Vegans, I must be rude to my videos. Carnivore noise. <laughs> this leader must be rude to Gregor Davis, Khan, Venus, and everyone else. <laughs> oh my, oh my. A vegan hit list. Vegan Gains, Mike the Vegan, that scary witch from Chorley, and everyone else. What do you think about this, Agent Tilly? Oh my. What I will do when I take over the world. Ban nutrition science. Ban doctors talking about nutrition. Ban epidemiology. Ban correlations. Spelt wrong. What? What? Who could this be, Agent Tilly? Who could this be? They work at a school desk. Are they a child? My scientific anecdotal research, it's very good. <laughs> There's not much here. It's a pile of waffle. And not very much else. What the hell? Someone's been having a party, it seems. Oh, there's a spilt can. What is that? It looks like pee. It looks like pee, but I actually hope it's lager. Oh dear, what a mess. Who the hell could work in a place like this full of pizza boxes and beer making anecdotal scientific claims? Clearly aiming to take over the world with their anti-vegan nonsense.
what on earth is this? It's the Adventist Health Study. A possible protective effect of nut consumption on risk of coronary heart disease. There's a note. Relative risk is poo, is it? Let's take a look at the findings of this study. Subjects who usually consumed whole wheat bread also experienced lower rates of definite non-fatal myocardial infarction and definite fatal cardiovascular disease. Oh my, when compared with those who eat white bread, men who ate beef at least three times a week had a higher risk of fatal coronary heart disease, relative risk 2.31. So the men in this study who ate beef at least three times a week were more than twice as likely to die from coronary heart disease than those that didn't. Wow. Let's take a look at another one. Vegetarian dietary patterns and mortality. Again, it's the Adventist Health Research. What? Rubbish study? I'll be the judge of that. Vegetarian diets were associated with lower all-cause mortality, with the same reductions in cause-specific mortality. Results appear to be more robust in males. These favourite associations should be carefully considered by those offering dietary guidance. Wow! Here's another one. Cohort study of diet, lifestyle and prostate cancer in Adventist men. Nonsense! Let's see what this study found. Although there were suggestive relationships between increasing animal products consumption and increased risk, these results did not persist after accounting for the influence of fruit and vegetable consumption. So fruits and vegetables are important. Nor was exposure to vegetarian lifestyle during childhood. However, increasing consumption of beans, lentils, peas, tomatoes, raisins, dates, and other dried fruit were all associated with significantly decreased prostate cancer risk. How can this be a rubbish study? <laughs> What's this? This is, this is a to-do list. This is the most recent studies. LDL does not cause cardiovascular disease. What do you think to that, Agent Tilly? Intracranial atherosclerotic plaque enhancement. But yet this person has written that LDL does not cause CVD. I can't believe what a wreck this workstation is. It's clearly someone of a school-aged mentality with a liking for pizza and beer. What do you reckon, Agent Tilly? I think I've got plenty of evidence here to take back to Captain Flem. I am going to record all this. Wow. Wow, indeed. Hello, Captain Flem. Mission accomplished. I managed to sneak in to the lair, to the headquarters of the anti-vegan nonsense gang. I've sent you over some evidence. Photographic evidence of science denial, confusing anecdotes with science, calling epidemiology poo in a schoolboyish type way. In fact, his workstation was that of a school desk cluttered with pizza boxes and beer bottles. There is only one person that fits this description, and that is Mr. Bart K, nutrition science watchdog, is the head of the snake. Captain Flem, I fear this is an international consortium. We need to track down the soldiers and eradicate them once and for all.